this old baby changing unit of my daughter's into something a bit more grown up for her. I've taken the rack of wood off the top and sanded down the surface so it's nice and smooth ready to paint. I'm going to paint it with stone rosy and the front of the drawer will be love letter. And I'm going to use a Frenchy Lazy Range. And the great thing about this range is that you don't have to wax it afterwards. Um, you just buff it up afterwards with the exfoliating mitt. When you use a new brush, it's always worth remembering to take the wrapper off first. It makes painting a lot easier. I've taken the drawer out to paint the drawer front um, love letter pink. Um, and I've removed the handles because these are going to be painted different colour. So it avoids any cutting in, it makes it a lot of neater finish. I painted the shelf love letter to match in with the drawer front to keep the brush strokes in the same direction to get a nice even coverage. I filled in all the little holes and now I'm lightly sanding over the top and then I'll paint over it so it all blends in nicely. Push it into the hole and scrub off the excess. And I'll paint over the top to give it a nice even finish. I've done two coats of paint all over the unit. Um, I've seen an idea on Pinterest, which I think is really great, um, a way of storing soft toys to make it look like a zoo. So I've got some thick elastic pulled in here, which I bought on eBay, um, really cheap. Um, and I'm going to drill some holes, eight along the bottom, eight along the top, and feed the elastic through. Um, it, there's enough room underneath the drawer for this little open place, which is great. Um, and then these will make the bars. I've measured and marked where I'm going to drill the holes, evenly spaced. I'm using a Ryobi drill. Um, the good thing about Ryobi tools is that the battery is all interchangeable. You just squeeze these two little pads here and flip them in. I've gone through my drill bits here and chosen one which is the same width as the elastic I'll be feeding through the holes. I'm going to pop this in there. Wind it one way or the other and tighten it. Make sure it's in straight. Ready to go! Just make sure that I drill the hole straight and not to one side or the other, or up or down. through the elastic. Now I'm feeding the elastic through now, this is going to become the bars of the cuddly toy zoo. I'm going to keep it one continuous piece of elastic. It'll be easy to have the same tension throughout. I realise this shelf is too wide and the elastic um, hits it, so we're going to make the shelf a bit narrower. I've measured two centimetres that I'm going to cut off using a skill saw. That's better. That's clear of that wood now, which is perfect. We fed all the elastic through and tied it underneath at the bottom and it works perfectly. I'm going to paint this bottom piece of wood love letter pink as well so it just ties in nicely then and it looks more balanced.
The benefit of using a sponge is that you can dab the paint rather than using a paintbrush and it might end up going underneath the stencil. That's it.